Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I love Kung Fu and today I'm going to do my first bit of rope dart. So I've enrolled my friends, Ang Lee Key and Olivia, and they are both experts at rope dart. Would you agree? <laughs> first, before we do anything else, you've got to show us your rope dart. This is an eagle head made by Bert, of which the link will be in the description if you're, if you're interested, but it's a solid brass eagle head. Don't get hit with that, it's going to hurt. I wanted to kind of explain my reasoning with rope dart. Because my back's a bit dodgy, it would be really nice to learn a kung fu weapon, but a lot of them I think will probably damage myself. So stick looks like it will be a bit too twisty for my back. And like broadsword, there's people tend to do a bit flippy. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's a lot of twisting, which I don't want to do. And then like straight sword, there's some bits, like especially that guy that falls backwards. Straight onto his back. Yeah, yeah, that's I don't right. want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like chain whips, you've got all the hoppies on the floor. Don't really want to do that. Yeah. And then like, all the heavy stuff. So anyway, rope dart. Yeah. Rope dart, super sensible. As far as I'm concerned, when I look at rope dart, it looks like someone's standing there not doing much, and then there's rope dart that's just going to flip bananas around. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like the lazy man's weapon. I like to call it the cripple club weapon. Yeah, yeah, which I am definitely in. They're going to show me a few moves that I can get on with, and then these girls can show off and show you actually some proper rope dart rather than me bumbling around. So uh, let's do that. And uh, yeah, what we're going to start with. All of the excess here with your left. Yeah. And then with the right is the, the hand that always has has some sort of hold on it, but it kind of just lets it okay. flow for it. So if you swing once, you let go and you pick up again. So you let go all of, of all of the slack and then you pull up, pull back again. Okay. Yeah. So that's the idea. If you do that a couple of times, ways, then you can you have an idea. Of just swing it. And you want to always let the whole thing go and always pick the flag with the left hand. Okay. Yeah, you could do. Ow! Yeah. 
only thing that I found out with this is when you kick, you have a little, little tiny bit between the rope and the dart that is between your leg and the dart. But oh, like so not the massive. Lower, I think it's small. Yeah. Smaller, like the further down it the end is. of the rope. Yeah. A couple yeah, of steps. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like really. It, it looks a little bit like you're actually kicking the dart. Kicking yeah. The dart. Yeah. Oh, that Boy. was nice. Yeah, because then it stops swinging over the top. That was even, even, you that's a lot. It is doing a full circle with you now. Ah. Yeah, so you wanted to... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Olivia does a really small one, but you're doing a much bigger one. So now you want to swing over your neck. Put it around your neck and then panic and just try and get rid of it. Right, this no, is actually easier it. than it looks, I think. Yeah. 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 I would say yeah. go a little bit later because rather than, because I think when it comes out, it's when it's kind of straight and straight. Oh, is it? Yeah. If you come round, then your finger's actually coming, your finger's actually coming around your neck. So you're guiding the rope. Oh, you did that completely different to how I did. Either. Then the finger comes behind the neck. Then. Bam, this is all done. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Uh, yes! I got that. Master yeah? deck. Master. What's next? The elbow ones. So you put the elbow right in front of you. And you let it go. One, two, three. Okay. Swing that way, back, and then. Oh. Six hours later. Out, round, through, round. Yes! yes. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. One of my bugbears with a lot of kung fu weapons is that there's loads of like spinny stuff and spinning around, but actually no point in like the actual weapon combatively at all. Now. I'm not a big fan of actually fighting with stuff, it's not really my thing, but I do like the idea that it has a purpose or there's a reason for it. So like spinning stuff around for no reason, I don't really like, but actually using a weapon to practice hitting stuff or breaking things or whatever with it, I do like the idea of knowing how to do that. Angley here and Livia are gonna show me how to do target practice with the road dart. So we're gonna do that now. So what we're gonna do is we've got this nice bear and we're gonna practice hitting him. I wonder if we could put him that way around so we can see his nice face. Yeah! 
So we are shamelessly going to try and smash this lettuce for no other reason, just for cinematic effect. Are you going to eat it? Yeah. That's like the only thing you can eat. I'm basically hunting for my right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag vegan hunter. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it. Thanks very much to Angliki and Olivia uh, showing me some rope dart stuff. I'm going to have to practice that. Thanks very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification button so you get a message pop up when I put a new video out. I hope you liked it and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>